In this video, you'll finally find out how in the world accents work in Spanish. Almost every single word in Spanish falls into one of three categories. The first category are palabras agudas. An aguda word has a natural emphasis on the last syllable. The second category of words are palabras llanas. These words have a natural emphasis on the second to last syllable. The last category are palabras esdrújulas. These words have an unnatural emphasis on the third to last syllable. What that means is these words always have an accent mark on the third to last syllable. A really helpful way to remember is that the word esdrújula has an accent on the third to last syllable. Now I'm going to pronounce some words and I want you to tell me if it's aguda, llana, o esdrújula. The first word is Perro. I'll repeat it again. Perro. Is that uh, aguda, llana, o esdrújula? The word perro es llana. The reason why is because the emphasis is on the second to last syllable. It's perro instead of perro. Now let's try the word jugar. I'll repeat it again. Jugar. The word jugar is aguda because the emphasis is on the last syllable. I'll say it one more time, jugar. Now we'll try the word teléfono. Is that aguda, llana, o esdrújula? The word teléfono is esdrújula because the emphasis is on the third to last syllable. Now let's try the word escribir. I'll say it one more time. Escribir. Escribir is aguda because the emphasis is on the last syllable, beer. Now the last word, sobre. I'll say it one more time. Sobre. Sobre es llana because the emphasis is on the second to last syllable, sobre. What I've done here is that I've underlined the emphasized syllable twice, but I've also underlined the letter that each word ends with. Let's see if you can figure out the pattern that makes a word llana, aguda, or estrujula. At this point, if you'd like to try to figure out the pattern on your own, then please pause the video and continue playing the video when you think you've figured out the pattern. If not, then just keep watching. Did you figure out the pattern on your own? Aguda words end in consonants, except for N and S. That means that every verb in the infinitive is an aguda word. Ana words end in a vowel, S, or N. Palabras esdrújulas always have an accent on the third to last syllable. In other words, palabras esdrújulas are not naturally occurring. So the point of accents in Spanish are to indicate words that don't follow these rules. In other words, if a word is well behaved, then it doesn't need an accent. But if a word is breaking the rules, that's where the accents come in. Every word is naturally either aguda or llana but we put an accent on words that don't follow the rule. I have two words here. The green word is aguda, cantar. The emphasis is on the last syllable. But then I have this second word I'm going to pronounce for you. La canción. Where is the emphasis? According to the rules, canción is a llana word. It ends in the, in the consonant N, which means that the emphasis should be on the first syllable. La canción. But I just pronounce it la canción. What that means is we need to make this word into an aguda word. In other words, we need to put the emphasis on the last syllable. And the way we do that is by drawing an accent over the O. Ta da! Here's another example. This word is pretérito. But if you look at this word, it's naturally llana. Llana means the emphasis should be on the second to last syllable because it ends in a vowel. But that pronunciation would be preterito. And the word is preterito. 
So what do I need to do? I need to indicate that the emphasis is on the third to last syllable. And I do that by making the word esdruhula and adding an accent. Ta-da! A lot of words in Spanish have accents on them because that's just the way they're pronounced. But there are some words that actually change in meaning based on where the emphasis is. The first word, papa, is llama. So the accent, or the, sorry, the emphasis is on the first syllable, papa. And that means potato. But then we have the aguda word papa. The emphasis is on the last syllable, so we mark it with an accent. Papa means dad. So you need to be very careful what you're talking about and where you're at. Here's another example of a word that changes meaning based on the accent. You know that que with an accent means what, but if you don't write the accent, que means that. So now we're going to practice what we've learned. I'm going to write a word on the board, and what I want you to do is underline the syllable that should naturally have the emphasis. If the syllable that naturally has the emphasis doesn't actually have the emphasis, I want you to write an accent. The first word is hombre. I'll say it one more time. Hombre. Where is the natural emphasis in this word? This word ends in a vowel, which means that the emphasis naturally falls on the second to last syllable. Hombre. Now let's try the word mujer. I'll say it one more time. Mujer. Since the pronunciation is mujer, and the emphasis really does fall on the last syllable, we don't need an accent. Now let's try the word niño. Niño ends in an O, which makes it llana, which means the emphasis is on the second to last syllable. And since the emphasis really is on the second to last syllable, we don't need an accent mark. Niño. Now let's move on to the next set of words. The first word is lunes. Lunes ends in a consonant, but the consonant is S or N, which means that lunes is a llana word, and the emphasis is on the second to last syllable, lunes. And since the emphasis really is on the second to last syllable, we don't need an accent. Now let's try the word jueves. Jueves. Jueves is just like lunes, it ends in an S, and S is one of the two consonants that falls under the llana category, which means that the emphasis is on the second to last syllable, which in this case is jue. Now the last word. I'm not going to pronounce it yet, even though you probably already know what it is, because I want to see what happens when we try to follow the rule. This word ends in an S, which means that naturally it's llana, so the emphasis should be on the second to last syllable. But that would make this word miércoles. And the word is actually miércoles. You can hear the emphasis is on the, the third to last syllable. Which means that this word is esdrújula. So to indicate that the emphasis needs to be on the third to last syllable, we put an accent over the E. Most of the time, if you have two vowels in the same syllable, you put the accent on the stronger vowel. I and U are weak vowels, which means the accent normally falls on A, O, or E. I hope this video has helped you understand the rules for accents in Spanish.